Hi, everybody. It is November 16, 2017, on uh, many videos, in many, many videos that I posted on Kafka Winston World. I had stated that I read a paper in 2011 when I was doing a lot of research um, on the microwave frequencies because I was becoming sensitive. I was experiencing a lot of symptoms. One of the symptoms was burning. I had burns on my body, particularly my feet. And I described it as an inverse tennis tan. You know, people who play tennis during the summer, they have very pale feet and ankles, but right above their ankles, there's a, a sharply defined line where their tan begins. I was coming home from where I lived in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. I knew the owner of a coffee shop in Great Barrington. It closed at 5 p.m. After 5 p.m. I would bring my dogs. They had a fenced in backyard. It was really beautiful and right on a river. And I would walk around barefoot as my dogs were playing. But I would come home and I'd look at my feet and I'd look at my ankles and there was a sharply defined line but below that line, on both legs, my feet were burned. My ankles were burned. So I started doing more and more research. I came across this paper, which I'm grateful to have found. Uh, it was just by luck doing research. And I do suggest that everybody bookmark the National Academies Press. This is the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, Medicine, and they have an awful lot of books on this site with a tremendous amount of information. And the books, many of them are free online on this site. So this paper, The Assessment of the Possible Health Effects of Ground Wave Emergency Network, in videos posted on Kafka Winston World, I would say to those who left comments suggesting people walk ground uh, walk on the ground barefoot. I said it's really, really important that you don't walk barefoot when you are in close proximity to a Gwen Tower. What is a Gwen Tower? Gwen Tower looks like this. These are different from cell phone towers. These can look like this, and many of the Gwen Towers, interestingly, are putting up antennas on the top of them. And Gwen Towers, this is supposed to be for the emergency network system. The, the use of the emergency network system requires Gwen Towers one every 300 miles. Why do we have them back to back littered all over the country? Well, because they're very dangerous and they're not just used to uh, relay emergency information. They're also being used for mind control and the dangerous health effects coming out of this uh, system these ground-based frequencies. This is one of the methods that they have to keep all of us very sick, to mind control our population. But in terms of the walking barefoot, in videos I said, I'm so sorry that I can't find this paper that I just came across because I would prove to you that the most dangerous condition you can be in is walking barefoot aground, uh, around a Gwent Tower. And here it is. Barefoot. A barefoot exposed person. It's the worst case condition. Okay. I will link below to this paper, which is really um, chock full of very, very important information. Now, on this site, when you come across a book uh, or a paper assessment of the possible health effects of ground wave emergency network, you click on contents and it brings you up 
it brings up, I'm sorry, I'm really having difficulty talking lately, but uh, the chapters of the book. So you can read about the description of the Gwen system just by clicking on that uh, hyperlink. Coupling of Gwen electromagnetic fields to the human body, which is what I just read from. Don't walk barefoot around a Gwen tower. Make sure that you are far away from it because our bodies are conductors. We literally are pulling these frequencies into our body. So the closer that you get to a Gwen Tower, barefoot, your body is pulling the ground-based frequencies right into your feet and those frequencies go right through your body, right to your head. Very dangerous. Also the Gwen Towers. Um, in this paper, it states that people who, if a Gwen Tower is around, let's say, a shopping center, and you walk over to your car, the second you place your hand on your car, metal is a conductor. So the second that you're placing your hand on that metal, whether it's the door handle of your car or um, being in your car, the metal is pulling those frequencies more intensely towards you, right smack into you. It's unfortunate that we have to live in this environment, but this is another Gwen Tower. All of the towers, now it could just be one pole, they're very high, uh, much, much taller than cell phone towers, but you will see all of these wires going down to the ground. It's a ground-based system. All of these wires go into the ground and shoot out frequencies through the ground. So, um, here, perception, uh, perception and behavioral effects of electromagnetic fields, um, the effects on organs and tissues, in vitro cellular and subcellular endpoints. So this paper, this is why I wanted to make this video because it's very, very important and it really is chock full of uh, very important information. Now I'm going to link below to this article, Gwen Towers, Earthquake Machines. Yes, they can induce earthquakes with these towers. Uh, zombie makers. The Russians have a zombie gun uh, and works in a similar uh, fashion. And yes, they can blow up your mind. That's right. They can increase these frequencies and they could have everybody die instantly within a 40 mile radius. These frequencies, these wires are circular. So the frequencies are emitted in a circular pattern. So if they increase these frequencies to a certain level, they could kill off whole communities of people instantly. No joke. This also has a video. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension, Nikola Tesla. And they talk about how frequencies can manipulate the jet stream, make uh, induce earthquakes, manipulate the weather. Unfortunate that we have so many people who are just refusing to look at this, um, to look at how these cell phone towers, Gwen towers, they're all used as weapons against us. But in this article embedded is uh, excerpts from another paper, a 1982 Air Force Review of Biotechnology, the application of military frequency weaponry. And the reason why I'm including this, including this, is because I posted a video, Dr. Tent, talking about how autoimmune diseases are exploding. It's not autoimmune. It is viruses. It is parasites. Well, they can actually... We all have parasites. Life has parasites in it. But they can use these frequencies 
to bring to life these parasites and make us so filled with disease, massive disease. It's a massive disease network. You got to do the research. You've got to read the articles to learn how all of this works. But important for all of us to get rid of the parasites that we may have inside us. So you got to do the research to find out how to detox and, and get rid of these parasites. Because once you do get rid of the parasites, they will have far less control of you. So I just want to show you uh, when you click on contents, and I did click on um, the perception and behavioral effects of electromagnetic fields, this is what you will see, that chapter. And yes, indeed, there are many perception, perception and behavioral effects. Shocks and burns also. These are from just the Gwen Tower frequencies when the human body is in an electromagnetic frequency of suitable frequency and intensity and it makes contact with a conducting body which we all are in the same field which means when you're close to a Gwen Tower the electric current produced can cause perceptual electrical shock muscular contractions burns and possible death and RF frequencies, radio frequencies, which are being emitted from these cell phone towers and Gwen towers, they can cause human tissue, especially the skin, to increase temperature, causing a sensation of warming that will be due to thermal stimulation of temperature receptors. So those of you who have experienced the sudden onset of you are feeling like your temperature just rose suddenly, you're being cooked. You're being cooked by microwaves, which we are all saturated in now. Very, very upsetting. Auditory perception? Yeah, guess what? Well, how do they describe these auditory sounds? It sounds like ticking, hissing, knocking, buzzing, and... Uh, I thought I saw chirping. That's the tinnitus that we are all experiencing. And it's, you know, I, I have to show you this. Linked below one of my video or the video that I posted yesterday, last night. So many people left comments saying, yeah, I hear the ringing, I hear the buzzing, I hear the chirping, I hear the clicking. Look at this, American Tinnitus Association. You know, they start these associations. They, they start doing all of this research. Wow, there are so many uh, people experiencing tinnitus. We better do some research. We better get donations from people. Since 1980, we have allocated over six million to advance tinnitus research. Tinnitus, it's a complicated audiological and neurological condition with multiple triggering catalysts and biological pathologies. Researchers around the world are working to better understand the many forms of tinnitus, optimize tinnitus management therapies, and discover a definitive cure for this condition. Get rid of this wireless environment and we'll be cured. But they do talk about, in this paper, which um, I can't highlight once it gets into the book form. So they do talk about how, let me put you on hold for one second. Here, um, you know, this is dangerous. The, the buzzing and the hissing, however you describe what you are hearing. It means that our brains are, are being affected by the frequencies. This perception could well result when thermal absorption leads to thermal, thermal elastic expansion of tissues and fluids in the head and is sensed by auditory receptors. If the energy flux in the pulse exceeds 40 
uh, centimeters or whatever, delivered in a few microseconds, auditory perceptions occur. Tinnitus means that our brains are being affected, that the tissues and the fluids in our head is expanding. Sure wish that we could go back to the days without this wireless technology, but it's here to stay forever. So I will link below to this very, very important paper for all of you who do research on, um, on these uh, RF frequencies, microwave, electromagnetic frequencies, Gwen Tower, cell towers, and the dangers of, this, this will give you a whole lot of information, but it is also uh, the pages under the chapters, the references, leads you to more and more information. Um, and the next video I'm going to be doing is on this list of mind control symptoms. Next video will be geared towards targeted individuals. Ciao guys, have a good day.